This game is tea and is not suitable for kids. <laughs> Don't let your kids watch it! Ah, spoiler alert! Hey there, Artie! And guess. No, we're gonna go for the full hour and then split up into two in the future. Okay. Oh, the really sad music. The IS-7 incident. 18 years ago. Gregory Edgeworth's last case. Oh, I thought it was worst case. That too, probably. <laughs> Isaac Dover was murdered at the venue of a dessert contest. And his body was discovered in the chocolate treasure chest made by Jeff Master. The victim died from blood loss after being struck in the head with a rock salt lamp. At least lamp. this is different. The murder weapon was found hidden inside Delicia's candy castle. This new victim is sleeping with the fishes. Then, in the victim's room, where no one had searched yet, all of Dover's sherbet sculptures had melted. Right. We learned that. And that's where we left off, 18 years ago. Yeah, this case is so freaking long. December 24th, 9.05 p.m., contest venue, Fountain Patio. So this is late Christmas Eve. The sculptures in Mr. Dover's room have melted. Due to that, Prosecutor Von Karma immediately drove us away from the scene. Is Edgeworth fat? No. No? Because no. his dad is really skinny. Like, way skinnier than Edgeworth. Edgeworth's- <laughs> Edgeworth's obese. Edgeworth- <laughs> No, Edgeworth's just a box. There is no shape to the, his middle. True. But I don't know if it's because he's wearing like 50 million layers. He's like, he's wearing just distinctive layers. layers. <laughs> How are we gonna investigate now? And what's with that defense attorney's out? Von Karma's methods are deplorable. <laughs> well, investigating the crime scene is supposed to be the police's job after all. But you gotta admit, Von Karma's methods are way out of line. Defense attorneys and the police should work together to discover the truth. Raymond, you must realize that not everyone shares the same views as us. Should one expose the truth for the sake of justice, or simply accept things as they appear? Everyone has their own view on what is right and what is wrong. Even if that means convicting an innocent man! Both ourselves and the police are only human, and as humans we all make mistakes. It is for this reason that we defense attorneys exist. So that those who are alone and helpless can have an ally on their side. He talks a lot like Phoenix does. Which he is does. really cool. He's like the original ace attorney. An ally on their side. If we cannot investigate, shouldn't we just find some other way to help? I'm sorry, Mr. Edgeworth. I, I still have much to learn. Hmm. You're still young, so you'll have many opportunities to learn. Right. I'll do my best. Oh, crap. Monsieur Edgeworth and Monsieur Shields, would you like to take a brief respite? Oh, she got sing. I know it's not much, but please eat these. This is just her theme song. Oh, okay. Wow, thank you. Chocolate's added to the corner. You know those will be important later. She... Ew, that's disgusting. What? Delisha kept those candies in there for Maybe they were new candies. Nope. She kept the 18-year-old candies and the 18-year-old banner thing. <laughs> Gregory's about to say, let's eat. So it's clearly different chocolates. Okay, maybe. <laughs> let's eat. I appreciate getting some sugar into my system. But these are a little too sweet. And it's a little misshapen, too. I'm terribly sorry. Does it not suit your tastes? Not at all. It's deliciously sweet. <laughs> Thank you very much. But... Making sweets isn't really my forte. Huh? You made this chocolate cake? <laughs> yes, chocolate is Monsieur Master's favorite food. Monsieur Master being... Jeff Master, the guy who sings in the detention center. Okay. Uh, this guy, Afro Man. Afro Man! He's alive? Still this alive? is in the past. He was the defendant. He wasn't the guy who was murdered. He was the guy who was murdered. Mm. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'm wondering if he's, like, murdered at this point. Preparing his favorite food is also my part Master, of my job. Master's not dead, even in the present. In the present? No, he was... He they was broke up the show, though. True. So some drama happened. Either that or just, like, CBS okay, was like, so we're taking Marty, you off the... What? How much do you remember of Turnabout Goodbyes, the Gord Lake case? Because it's... His, Gord Lake? Because Gregory Edgeworth's last case was briefly mentioned in that. Because that was the one where he gave Von Karma his, like, first penalty. Yeah. And it said Gregory lost the case. 
Yeah, it did. So that means that Jeff Master gets arrested and convicted, and he's he's oh, right, in right, the right, 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 right. He's okay. uh, he either gets the death penalty or he's still incarcerated. Okay, so that's why the, the channel went off. Yes. But, okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Piece of cake in jail. <laughs> Honestly, nowadays I that's can the see a weird show, show like that. That's the spinoff show. Oh, I said that already. Oh, you did. But I'm still not that good at it, so I need him to instruct me. I envy Master Jeff. He gets to eat Kate's handmade sweets whenever he wants. Did you say something? Ah! No, it's nothing. Very sweet. This is so sweet. In more ways than one. Miss Hall, you seem very dedicated to your work. Without my work, I wouldn't even have the right to be here. What do you mean? When I was a child, I was abandoned. Monsieur Master took me in. Aha! Uh -huh. Okay. One snowy Christmas Eve, I was left on the doorstep of his mansion. Oh, they're playing the, the sad Simon Keys music. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. I owe Miss Monsieur Master my life. He became like a father to me. That's good. I'm glad they're not, like, dating. No, they're not. No. I thought they, like... Oh, you thought they were dating? Because he like, was doing, like, the dip. Like, the, the, the. Yeah. No, it's like a daddy-daughter dance. Oh, that's right. cute. And so, to prepare his his kindness... To prepare his kindness. <laughs> okay, I... I uh, want to continue working for him. I always forget about this sprite. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, it's weird. Kate. You're incredible. I've lived a long life. Yet that brought tears even to my eyes. Today, Christmas Eve has finally arrived once more. But it looks like I won't be able to give him the present I prepared. I would do anything if it meant saving Monsieur Master. Maybe she gets incarcerated for him. No, actually, that can't be right, because she's alive. She's she's alive and, and out, of jail. out of jail. Like, a woman can work her ways, Artie. There are people who break out of jail. Yeah, and it's not like, this person break out of jail. I'm opening a museum! And I'm an award-winning actress. It's like, um, and I didn't change my name. Okay, that's true. That's very true. If there's any way I can be of service to you, please ask. Yes, I appreciate that. Oh, without his hair. No, without his hat. Without his hair! <laughs> it's a bald wig. It's like a wig. <laughs> well then, do you happen to know anything about the victim Isaac Dover? I don't really know much about Monsieur Dover, but... I have a photo of the desserts he made in the contest finals. The ones that melted? Yep. It's the same. Mm. Just a mirror and... This is certainly a splendid piece of work. Yes! With this exquisite beauty, it's truly a work of art. It's crafted so intricately that you almost forget it's made out of sherbet. How do you carve like something like that out of sherbet? People have their ways. I don't know. It's probably easier to carve than out of ice. Ice, it's like once it breaks, it breaks. Sherbet, <laughs> you can kind of be like... That's any sculpture. It's not like Michelangelo's like, Oh, didn't mean to do that. I'll just glue it back on. <laughs> Secretly, he just, like, stuck the nose back on and no one's touched it for years. <laughs> Don't- <laughs> he's like, you can't touch it, it's a work of art. It's like, if you touch it, the nose will fall. <laughs> <laughs> That's like the Sphinx. <laughs> yeah. It seems Monsieur Master was also fond of Monsieur Dober's work as well. Wow! These are the Taurus and Gemini constellations! Do you know a lot about the constellations, Raymond? Of course! There's so much romance in the constellations. For example, take the club, lyre, and arrow held by Gemini here. These come from... Huh? There are no strings on this lyre. Oh, I just remembered. I'm pretty sure it's lye. That's the chemical. Lye. Lye. If you have... If lye comes in contact with your hands, like... Oh, yeah, yeah, get yeah. Get that out. But lye is used for soap. Okay, cool. It only took 40 minutes. <laughs> but I remember. I wonder how many people remember that from the last episode. <laughs> hmm. Did Mr. Dover make a mistake in his sculpting? It's hard to think he would make a mistake like that. Huh? I thought you said he didn't know that much about- you didn't know that much about him. Uh, uh, I just sort of felt that way somehow. It appears she's hiding something from us. I don't need no Magatama. Miss Hall, did you take this photograph yourself? Yes, I took it with this instant camera. She also took the photo of the body that it way. It develops pictures instantly. It's one of my greatest treasures. Wow, I would love to see it in action. <laughs> well then, why don't we take a picture right now? 
Yay! Let's have our picture taken, Mr. Edgeworth. Sure, I don't mind. I'm confident in my hairstyle today. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm taking the picture. Say cheese. Oh, I thought I thought. Oh, I thought Ray and Catherine were getting a photo together. No, that's why he got excited at first. <laughs> Here, it's developed. A present from me to you, Monsieur Shields. Oh yeah, this is the photo that he has in his like office. Wow, thank you so much. That's such a great camera. It's the only camera in this mansion. I I I, I low key ship these two together. They're cute. Yeah. <laughs> It's the only camera in the mansion. Unfortunately, its convenience comes at a cost. There are no negatives. No negatives? Huh. Is this the same camera Mr. Master used during the contest? Yes, you're well informed. While he was making his desserts, Monsieur Master photographed his work. After that, he took photos of all the other com competitors' works. I still think it's weird. It's like, you have to beat Jeff Master in his own game. Basically. It's like beat Bobby Flay, but way harder. <laughs> Isn't that also how um, Spy Kids 3 went? I never watched Spy Kids 3. <laughs> you never watched that? No! That was the only one I did watch. <laughs> Spy Kids 3 and Spy Kids 4. Not the first two, though. Was he taking photos at the time the body was found? The body was discovered during the judging, was it not? Monsieur Master intended to take photos of everyone's rooms, but after he photographed Gustavia, Gustavia, I just like fumbled everywhere. After he just photographed G's room. <laughs> G's room. <laughs> after he photographed Gustavia's room, he ran out of film. Monsieur Master asked me to change the film in the camera. It seems the film he prepared in advance wasn't enough. There wasn't enough film. It well, seems I... the number of photos he took didn't match up with the number of film remaining. Well, he told me himself it may, might have just been a mistake, though. Someone grabbed his camera and just went... <laughs> Someone's, like, five-year-old niece took it and it's just like... Ah! Ah, yeah. <laughs> was it really just a mistake? Oh, it looks like she's standing on the fountain. <laughs> I'm king of the world! I'm king of the world! I retrieved more film from the main building and went back to the fountain patio. And it was then that I heard the sound of something breaking in Monsieur Master's room. And that's when she found Dabati. Are we getting this flashback again? Monsieur yep. Master, are you in here? <laughs> yeah! <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no, and dead body. I found Monsieur Dover's body in the Monsieur Master's room. <laughs> it was so terrible! Whoa, where's your accent going? I was real shooken up. <laughs> a lot of heart, y'all. She just takes off a mask. It is a lot of heart. Delicious Scones just rips off the mask. It's me, a lot of heart. I had to be in the game, too. I Even though I was already basically in the game in the first case. It was so terrible. I was really shaken up. Before I spoke to anyone else, I called the police. This camera, I've kept it with me ever since. Do, 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 do. I see. If it's all right with you, would you mind lending me your Her camera hair looks and that like photo? A hedgehog. <laughs> I'm Sonic a big fan of knuckles. Move. Sure, I don't mind at all. Here you go. Thank you very much. Her eyes sideways look weird. Instant camera added to the court record. This is back before I. Okay, we can take 20 pictures. And Let's go. Dover Sherbet Salon added to the court record. <laughs> hey, I think that's a lucky gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Detective Bad, Miss Delicious, is the investigation over already? He said he had no more use for me and kicked me out. Manny the Meaty, what a rude thing to say. Wait. Manny the Meaty? <laughs> I just realized, did someone say something first? Because she just re reacted to herself. Who said that line no, first? No, no, she said both of them. Oh. She's like, humph, Manny that Meaty. Oh, that Meaty. I just thought, Manny, you Meaty. I'm like, what? It would probably be in to ensure that you don't eat any more of the crime scene. So, Detective Bad, did you get kicked out too? It seems Von Karma thought I was getting in the way. He won't let me investigate. I wonder, here's the other thing that it could be. Maybe one of the two females is the killer, the other saw them, and so the reason they know each other for 18 years is it's like, if you wrap me out. <laughs> I'm, yeah, I'm gonna take you down. It's like if you kill anybody else, I'm gonna take and you. And then they're like, oh, whatever you say. So it might be like, it might be um, 18 year old or whatever. Have oh, it. so and are so you faking? Are like, you speaking? Yes, yes, I'll get you the Megaton X. Yes, that's that's fine, Kate. Whatever you need. Oh, so you think or Delisha killed Dover and then uh, Kate set off the poison gas to try to kill someone else? Maybe. 
Maybe she... Maybe she was... Oh my gosh. Maybe she ordered the Megaton X from, from Delicia. And then she was like, oh my gosh, come out. See the fam. The <laughs> Chowson the Bin. Oh. And then like, I don't know. I hate that right. word. It's fine. Anyway, <laughs> you like... And then they go together. And then her plan was to have her... Caught, like get into the poison gas explosion and then be like -ha -ha -ha. I think it's one of those okay <laughs> why would he prohibit his own detective from in investigating sorry I have the hiccups that's okay that means we laugh but we know just about all there is to know about the crime scene right now he's talking to Gustavia in Dover's room why does he need to speak to Mr. Gustavia we heard from Hall that Gustavia was seen entering the victim's room Mr. Gustavia? Yes, I saw him entering Dover's room and it seemed like he was trying to avoid being seen. Although I have no idea what he did in there. He is currently under suspicion for melting Dover's sherbet. Just why did Mr. Gustavia enter that room? 1,000 degree knife versus sherbet, <laughs> sherbet sculpture. sculpture YouTube video. <laughs> In reality, if you just find it on YouTube, they're like, hey, wait a minute. Like, Dover <laughs> uploaded this video like 15 minutes ago. <laughs> you mean Gustavia? <laughs> or Gustavia, yes, yeah, not Dover. <laughs> I also have a photo of Dover's room here. If you need it, I'll let you take a look at it. Eh? What? Why would you do that for us? <laughs> you still don't get it, kid. This sounds like Paper Mario music. I'm saying I want to help you guys in order to discover the truth of this case. Detective Bad! Is... is that alright, Detective Bad? Won't Von Karma chew you out again? I have no intention of becoming Von Karma's lapdog. Good! If he won't let me investigate, I'll just do as I like. Oh, right, I forgot we're talking he, about Because he Von also Karma. becomes part of the, uh, the Yadagarasu as well, and they, so they didn't really care about being in the part of the law. Yeah. <laughs> Getting tied up in stupid rules will only blind you to the truth. Isn't that right, Attorney Edgeworth? Of course, Detective Bad. I thank you. This is amazing, Mr. Edgeworth! Now we've got Detective Bad on our side. I don't really get what's going on, but I'm glad you boys are all friends now. Do you think she actually is like a psychopath, kind of? <laughs> it's I'm such waiting, a fake looking I'm song. waiting for her to just snap and then have like the- She's actually six feet tall. Just no. <laughs> <laughs> she stretches like that a That wasn't screen. what I was thinking of. You know how in Cookie Mama when you screw up, she, she has the oh, fire yeah. eyes? Yeah. That's what I was picturing, like- or, like, now you're playing through Kalanad. Yeah. Like, the Kyo, um, oh. devil face, where she's like, shh. Well, I'm like, how do people do that with their face? You can do that. Uh -oh. If you have long hair, you can hide behind your hair and make the She shadows. doesn't know. Her face just turns black. She gets no pupils. She's like, Aah. I'm grateful that he'll lend us his strength. Well, then, can we see the photo now? Right. Something's not Man, this is in. just so long. I'm just trying to find a place where it'll be like, either we go to a new room or we start investigating so that's I can why, save and quit. That's why <laughs> I was like, save and quit. This is the current the state of Mr. Dover's room. Wow, the sherbet is completely melted. The room is drenched in a light blue liquid. We should compare this with the photo Miss Hall took. Did the sherbet melt because the power cord was pulled out? Yeah, because it was pulled. All of the refrigerated glass cases lost power completely. Looks like all the power cords were connected to one socket. Do you have any idea when this cord was pulled out? No, it's still under investigation at the moment. What a waste of beautiful sherbet! Honestly, had I known it would end up like this, I would have eaten even more of the stuff! Did Mr. Dover's sherbet taste that good? Oh, yes! He His sherbet was the most delicious. Really? I wish I could have eaten some, too. But there was one piece that was so salty I couldn't eat it. Salty? It's right here in this photo. It was a part of that liar. That's the liar from the Gemini constellation. She ah, just ate poison. You snuck a bite from the liar. That's why the stream's missing. Fire I could never have eaten that much. It was way too salty. Delicious testimony added to the court record. One part of the sherbet tasted different. That's rather curious. Did someone other than her also take a bite out of it? 
Did you notice anything else? Now that you mention it, Icy's sculpture... Uh, Icy's sherbet sculptures had these strange markings on them. They had two letters carved into them. Wait a minute. There! It looks something like this! An alphabet signature? It can't be. PH? I knew it! It just had to be Monsieur Dover laid this liar. He isn't one to make mistakes in his sculptures, after all. Miss Hall, it's been troubling me for a while, but... Do you know something about Mr. Dover? Uh, why would I know something about Mr. Dover? She's sweating. You seem quite attached to Mr. Dover's handiwork. Th that's just because his sculptures are such great works of art. No, I believe that his works are very special to you in particular. How do you know that? There is a piece of evidence that we believe belongs to Mr. Dover. And it happens to share a common feature with another piece of evidence. Please show me. I have no idea what you're talking about. Which two pieces of evidence share something in common? Two pieces of evidence that point to Mr. Dover. Let's start by presenting the first one. Well, let's take a look at it all. We got the attorney's badge. Yeah. We got the contest rules. Yeah. We got the signet crest. Uh, does that pertain to Dover? Is that what they're asking? It was found near the body. Yeah, let's try that. <laughs> uh, no, the second piece of evidence, which shares a common feature, is... His body. We also have his body. Jeff's teapot. Nope. Frame finger marks. The mansion key. Rock salt lamp. Fluorescent cloth. Fake desserts? How dare you? Chocolate. Instant camera. Dover's sherbet salon. That one, probably. I don't know what's in common, though. <laughs> the connection between these two pieces of evidence tells all. Uh. Hmm? How exactly are those two things connected? <laughs> Blast! <laughs> I was wrong. <laughs> there must be something Miss Hall valued that she was collecting. It's actually the teapot. The teapot? Delicia saw two letters of the alphabet. They were probably used as Mr. Dover's signature. Just as an artist would sign their name on their works. Right. Oi! I remember now. I see Sherbet sculptures had PH carved into them. All I can think of is, like, science. Science? What does PH stand for? Um... It's In science. How acidic or basic something is. That's it. Yes. Yeah, the PH levels, that's right. Yeah, PH I'm down. sure of it. PH. Those aren't Isaac Dover's initials, though. No. But we found this seal at the scene of the crime. It had probably fallen out of the late Mr. Dover's pocket. If you had pressed this seal into something, it would mark the letters PH. Also, the very same PH symbol is engraved into this teapot. Oh, I didn't remember that. The same symbol. This teapot was made by the sculptor Pierre Hoquet. In other words, this PH is the signature of Pierre Hoquet. Miss Hall, you know about this signature all too well, don't you? Y yes Monsieur Hoquet's work always bears that signature. Since he never shows himself in public, his signature is used to identify his works. No way. Are you saying Pierre Hoquet is? It seems Detective Bad has also realized Isaac Dover's true identity. To Miss Hall, Mr. Dover was no ordinary pastry chef. That's because his true identity was we he was a sculptor. That's right. Mr. Dover's true identity was the sculptor Pierre Hoquet. What? Mr. Dover was a sculptor? No no actual pastry chef entered the contest except Gustavia. <laughs> Which makes zero sense, because they had elimination rounds. Yeah. That means actual pastry chefs got Elimination rounds. <laughs> this is my ingredients talk. <laughs> it's like gonna be like that. It's like my bribe. Pizza art. Basically. I'm so embarrassed. <laughs> the Twinkie tart. <laughs> 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 
Eric, what? what <laughs> Things like signatures can be faked if you have the original designs. Can you really use that as proof he was a sculptor? No, but what's important here is that Miss Hall thought he was. As for proving his real identity, I'll leave that to the police. <laughs> I get it. I'll have the boys check up on it. As I expected from you, Grudge Gregory Edgeworth. I almost said Grudgery Edgeworth. You, you knew Mr. Dover's real identity all along, didn't you? Yes. When I discovered the body, I noticed the seal. I knew from that moment he was Pierre Hoquet, the man I greatly admired. Thinking that this would be his final posthumous work, I just couldn't sit still. So, that's why you entered Dover's room? Uh? What did you say? When exactly did you take this photo of Dover's room? Th that was... Perhaps this was taken during the judging. That's strange. I thought you said the camera ran out of film during the judging. Before Mr. Master entered Dover's room, you were the one in possession of the camera. Wasn't that why you were able to take the photo when you discovered the body? Yes, that's right. The only photos you took with this new film were of Dover's room and the body. If that's the case, a new contradiction comes to light. Uh, another one. The piece of evidence that contradicts the two photos Miss Hall took is... Took Dover's picture. But there's, there's, only, room there's for... only room for three more. That is my instant camera. You've already handed the photos of Dover's room and the body to myself and the police. That reminds me, didn't you also take a photo of me and Mr. Edgeworth just now? The film used in this camera can take up to four, 20 photos. <laughs> 40 photos? 40 photos. <laughs> However, this camera only has three photos left. Which leaves 14 photos unaccounted for. Exactly what were they used to photograph? I took 14 photos of the sculptures. <laughs> From every uh. angle. Please show us all the photos you took. We will be able to discern your actions from these photos. I'm so sorry. I have told a terrible lie. Don't tell me all of the remaining shots are of Isaac Dover's room. My deepest apologies. It seems they are all shots of the ice sculptures from various angles. Oh, I actually forgot about that. <laughs> I was joking. So when these were taken, the sculptures had not yet melted. But that means the one who caused them to melt was you? Yes. I'm positive that I melted them. You are positive? I'm an aficionado. I'm an aficionado of sculptor Pierre Hoquet, who's actually Monsieur Dover. Before the authorities could defile his final masterpieces during their investigation, I thought I should preserve them through photographs. Hence, I answered his room. In that case, why did all the ice melt? It's probably because... As I was taking the pictures, I became entranced with his works. And it seemed my foot accidentally got caught in the power cord, unplugging it. Accidentally, you say? I did not notice the power cord at the time. I would never have imagined that I would be the cause of the sculptures melting. Could the truth really be that simple? However, I cannot say with certainty that she is lying. I'm so sorry to have caused you all so much trouble. As long as you are telling the truth, there's no need to apologize. That's right! Don't sweat it, Kate! Thank you very much. Edgeworth. Here, take this picture. Do what you want with it. Dover's Sherbet Salon updated. You, oh boy. Hi, friend. Get the Bowser voice ready. You meddling fools still haven't given up yet, have you? No matter how long you wait, I have no intention of allowing a defense attorney to investigate. No matter. If we can't investigate, we'll find the truth through some other method. Always ready with a comeback! Well, do try your best. Um... Excuse me, Monsieur Von Karma. The, the truth is, 
It was I who melted the ice sculptures in Monsieur Dover's room. What? What's the meaning of this, you clod? I'm truly sorry, both to you and Monsieur Gustavia. <clears throat> Do not be concerned about me. Sir Von Karma has already recognized that I had no hand in this act. That reminds me. Why did you enter Mr. Dover's room, Mr. Gustavia? Ah, well that was because... Silence, ignoramus! You are not to give that attorney the tiniest hint of information! <laughs> Catherine Hall, you are coming with me. You are under suspicion of being complicit in the murder. N no! I shall be interrogating you personally. You best prepare yourself. Very well. Please wait. I still have some questions I want to ask her. I do not care for your sorry plight in the least. That would be a great <laughs> meme. <laughs> no, it, Von Karma is a fountain of memes. Ugh. Bad, Gustavia, and why I'm at it, you two scones? I have plenty of questions for all of you. Hmm. <laughs> Understood. Say, while well, I'm at it, he says, the nerve. <laughs> He's just like, don't let the defense attorney talk to anyone. He just took everyone away with him. Yes. Even if we stay here, I don't think we'll be able to investigate any further today. Let's take our leave for now. It has already grown rather, rather late. I hope the snow has stopped by now. Sounds good. I'm starving anyway. Come on, let's go to Culver's. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Let's stop somewhere for hamburgers then. <laughs> Before my stomach joins the course. They went to the same hamburger place that Phoenix and Maya right. went. El it's Dunes where... Noodles. <laughs> it's where every good American, I mean, J Japanese American, American, California. You go to Culver's. Attorneys go. Culver's. Culver's. <laughs> you can't fight on an empty stomach after all. I love that pose. We'll need to report back to Mr. Master with our findings first thing tomorrow. Okay, now we can stop. <laughs> we reached free to be continued in one recording session. I Okay, so I will say this. There are so many parts to this case, yeah. but they're fairly short, I guess. Yeah. I forgot about that. There's seriously, though, like, middle part one, two, and three, and end part one, two, and three, I think. What are we on? We're, on, we're still in the middle, I think. That's At least we're in the middle. Yeah. Anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody. Fiends are... It, the case is getting more interesting now, right? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, they spent way too long on, like, this is actually the Autumn Palace. <laughs> the sculptures were disguised. It's like... They could have made it a lot done easier. That in, like, especially since, if you're playing this game, especially in America, they didn't translate it. So it's like, right. you have to be a dedicated fan if you're playing this. Right. But, I mean, it's still good. And we haven't got to the best part of the case yet. That's... The best? The be we got to the best part. We haven't gotten to my favorite part of the case. Anyhow, until we meet again, my friends, have a great day and God bless.